Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is week one of our pantry challenge where we eat out of our pantry, fridge, and freezer. My husband woke up and decided to make oatmeal for some of our kids with butter and brown sugar. And I'll link up right here our grocery haul from last week. We spent $50, which was a fraction of what we usually spend. And we'll be spending only $50 for the next three weeks as we complete four whole weeks of this pantry challenge. My son and I decided to have eggs, his with buttered toast and mine with deli meat. Then we went to my parents' house for a Sunday lunch. They made a really delicious pot roast with rolls. It had zucchini, carrots, potatoes, mushrooms, and the meat. My dad then made this gluten-free apple crisp and we had vanilla ice cream. My husband and I really like to snack in the evening, so I made these nachos and he had frozen mozzarella sticks. And that's it for day one. Day two of our pantry challenge started out really basic. We had yogurt and oatmeal this Monday morning. Of course, I had to have my Monday morning coffee because I cannot function without it. My oldest wanted a mini bagel, his leftover Chick-fil-A sandwich, and banana coins. He loves these bagels with jelly and cream cheese. My girls had turkey sandwiches, and Layla also had an avocado with a sprinkle of salt. Then I made these nacho hodgepodge, I don't know what you'd call it. It's pretty much just chips, avocado, a little bit of leftover chicken salad, and sour cream, and I layer it all on top, and it's really yummy. Raya had a ham sandwich, banana coins, and Cheez-Its. Then at 3 p.m. we had hot cocoa because why not? Dinner was really delicious. We had meatloaf, mashed potatoes, corn, and broccoli. And there's Rhea's hand pointing to her plate like, give me some. <laughs> it did not feel like a pantry challenge with this meal. Good morning, day three of the pantry challenge. I'm just here making some hazelnut coffee, which I make every morning and it never gets old. I have cinnamon rolls in the oven for the kids. I made some buttered grits out of an instant package, kind of like how you make instant oatmeal. And it was really good. I shared with Rhea and she also had some toast. Michael had too many bagels and a coffee himself, and we all sort of just did our own thing for breakfast. Lunch was dinner leftovers, and apparently it's cool to eat your meatloaf like an animal. Meatloaf, mashed potatoes, broccoli, and corn. I could watch Rhea eat all day long. Here you can see she's eating the soft parts off of the broccoli and discarding the stalks, which I think is so, so cute. Rhea will be two in just a few months, and she's a really good eater. I made chicken salad with celery and halved grapes around dinner time, and I made everybody BLTs from a package of bacon that I had in the fridge from last week. And Michael had a BLT plus a chicken salad sandwich. I had two open-faced sandwiches on gluten-free bread, and that was it. Done with day three. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day four of the pantry challenge. This morning we had oatmeal with a little bit of almond milk and next to Rhea you'll see a graham cracker. I mix banana, mashed banana with peanut butter, stick it between two graham crackers and then freeze them and it's a healthier ice cream sandwich. My kids really really love them. I made buttered grits and then of course my husband and I both enjoyed coffee with hazelnut creamer. Lunchtime rolled around and my kids really wanted the last of the hot cocoa, so I made that for them. These are dinner leftovers from a couple of nights ago. One of my daughters just wanted mashed potatoes. There are some mountains I'm willing to die on, but this was not one of them. I let her eat the mashed potatoes. It's no big deal. 
I was cleaning out the freezer and my children saw that we had Hot Pockets down there at the very bottom and they really wanted some, so I let them have those. And the next few clips, you're about to see me cleaning out my freezer. It was about time I did this, just to inventory to see what I had. It was so gross in there too. There's some tater tots and bananas. And for reference, I can't remember the last time I bought tater tots. Here's the bin all cleaned out and the space over there cleaned out as well. I added some bins and I cannot tell you guys how satisfying it feels to have everything all lined up and in its spot. You saw I had some breakfast meat and I have four pretty full bags of frozen fruit. I also have some frozen tortillas, bagels, my gluten free bread, here's some rice cauliflower, some mixed vegetables, frozen chicken thighs, potato patties, there's also chicken nuggets back there. The graham cracker banana mashed sandwiches and frozen mozzarella sticks. Up in the drawer, I have a lot of miscellaneous things. I've got some cordon blues, some more hot pockets, some frozen stew meat. And whenever I have an excess of soup, I like to freeze it for an easy go to meal. This is vegan corn chowder, and this is chicken soup. It's kind of hard to see. I was really hungry for a snack and I got hooked on Laura Bars plus almond butter when I completed my round of the Whole30. And this is the coconut cream pie flavor and it's mixed with the almond butter. It seriously is so decadent and rich and I've been hooked on it ever since. We went to my parents' house for a little Valentine's dinner. They had watermelon and they made a big turkey. They had rolls, cranberry sauce, key lime pie, mashed potatoes, peas, stuffing, lemonade, gravy, and white chocolate chip macadamia nut cookies. And here's a shot of our little guy. You don't see him too much because he only drinks mama's milk right now. But hey, if you guys are still watching, please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I've got lots more content like this coming out and three more weeks of pantry challenge videos. It's Valentine's Day today. It's also day five of our pantry challenge. This morning we woke up and had eggs and toast. Does anybody else like ketchup on their eggs or just me? turkey sandwiches so they got those and then I presented them with their Valentine's goodies you got new books puzzles painting supplies my mom got the kids these cashy superfood bites there's some lint balls and little chocolates we had fun at lunch my big girl helper Emma she's three she helped put the chicken nuggets on the cookie sheet I also made shells and cheese, boxed macaroni from Aldi. This is literally 78 cents for a whole box. And I made an extremely kid-friendly meal of chicken nuggets and macaroni and cheese, and they loved it. For my lunch, I had two small baked potatoes with sour cream, salt, and pepper. Dinner was oven-baked chicken thighs with salt and pepper. We had steamed broccoli. My children like to put honey barbecue sauce on their chicken. We had mashed potatoes and some frozen veggies from my freezer. And this is ending day five. I can't believe it. This week has been relatively easy. I know it's going to get harder as we eat down our pantry, but as of right now, it's been pretty well. Ending Valentine's Day, I made some heart-shaped, Valentine's-themed sugar cookies, and they went over really well with my children. Day six 
so the pantry challenge I had an instant oatmeal I had already eaten it at this point but I wanted to show you I had a peaches and cream flavor and my husband is actually gonna take over the camera because I headed off to the hair salon this morning and he did a really great job feeding everyone and filming so here is the Michael cam he made fried eggs bagel toast coffee scrambled eggs and more eggs. Kudos to him, he did a great job. Here are two of my girls eating leftovers from yesterday's lunch, macaroni and chicken nuggets. I also made two turkey sandwiches, which one of my children said, I don't want turkey sandwich, I want peanut butter and jelly. So I gave Brayden two sandwiches and he actually ate full sandwiches. So that was pretty aggressive, but um, good for him. And then I made a peanut butter and jelly for my picky child. We went over to my parents' house again for supper. They had salad and oranges, and it was kind of like a hodgepodge leftover night. We brought over some stuff, they had some stuff, and we just hung out and had really good fellowship. So that was really, really fun. Potatoes, broccoli, Italian sausage, some goulash rolls, stuffing, butternut squash, turkey, strawberries mashed potatoes, key lime pie, I mean, we had everything. So there was something for everyone there. Wow, I cannot believe it's already day seven. This morning we woke up and had pancakes with butter and syrup. For lunchtime, I made grilled cheese that I do in the oven and I can't eat the bread, so I did some gluten-free bread for me in the toaster, and I served everybody's plate with oranges and a graham cracker. I had chicken salad on my gluten-free bread, and Michael had two sandwiches and some oranges, and it was a really yummy lunch. I forgot to film dinner, so I'm gonna tell you right here, we had manicotis and green beans, and that was really great. And you guys, we're done. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. And if you got this far, please subscribe to my channel and be on the lookout for three more pantry challenge videos. Love you guys, bye.